T and this is the push channel where we pray until something happens. We believe in the power of prayer. We know that not only does God hear, but that he answers. This morning, I just wanted to come in for our Touching Tuesday segment. And actually, I guess it's more like a testimony Tuesday. Um, God just put it on my heart to just share with you all um, some testimonies in, in, our, in my family, my extended family. Um, I want to talk to you this morning about generational curses, that there truly are curses that just like you can pass on blessings from generation to generation, actual curses can be passed on from generation to generation. And in my family, one of the things we were seeing in my extended family um, is that our young men in our family were not being prosperous. They were basically, many of them wasn't, they weren't even finishing high school. It looks like once they would get to fifth grade, they would just start flunking and flunking out. And next thing you know, they're you know failing and just not finishing school. And we were recognizing that. We recognized that as a curse. Like this is a curse on our young men. Um, so what we did, myself and a couple of my aunts, we started getting together, one of my cousins as well, as different people would come in and, and pray with us, but we started getting together. We would pray together every Sunday, and this went on for years, every every Sunday, praying um, for other things in the family, but we always prayed against that generational curse and praying for our young men to be prosperous. And we started one by one. We started seeing a change. We started seeing some of our young men who finished high school, didn't go to trade school, but then God blessed them with jobs that they wouldn't normally have been able to get. And we know it was nothing but God's favor and God answering our prayers. We had a couple of them, the young men who were in jail. Again, we were calling them by name. We were already saying, Lord, when they get out, that you open doors for them, that they won't go back into that lifestyle again. And, and God did. And it's just like we can't just go with excuses because God is so good. He um, Not only did he give them jobs, they were able to buy houses. And it didn't matter what their past was. It didn't matter that they had a criminal background. Because that's what I'm saying. God will open doors that no man can shut. And that was part of the motivation for push. When I tell you, pray until something happens. Continue to pray and press into the word of God. Because he will answer. He hears the cry the cries of the righteous so get together with those people in your family you know what the generational curses are in your family whether it's young men not finishing school if it's they're getting into a lifestyle of crime if you have having teenage pregnancies whatever it is like marriages that don't stay together whatever that curse is that seems to just be passing on from generation to generation break it break it press into god Pray consistently until you see him break those curses off of, the, off of that next generation. Let me go into prayer with you. Father, I thank you once again. We have the opportunity to be in your presence. Lord, I thank you this morning that the generational curse that was on the young men in our family, that you broke it off of them. Lord, I thank you that as you're bringing people to this channel, you're bringing them because you want them. You have called them for such a time as this to step up and pray for their family members, Lord, that they will repent on behalf of their family members, Lord, and that the curses will be broken, that they will pass on blessings and not curses, Father God, that their lifestyles, Father God, will change, Father God. As for them and their households, they will serve you, Lord, that they will pass on the power of prayer, Lord, that they will pass on the power of what you can do with, with you, Lord, that all things are possible through you, Lord. Lord, that those who may come to this channel that do have a criminal background and, and just not seeing where doors are being opened, the doors have been shut. But Father, I thank you this morning that the new door of opportunity is opening up for them, Father God, that the chains are being broken off of their mindset, Father God, that the chains are being broken off of that lifestyle, Father. Father, I thank you that there will be testimonies that are coming, Father God, because all things are possible with you. It is in your darling son, Jesus' name I pray and continue to thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you once again for joining me and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.